Imagine you're living in the 1800s, a time before cell phones, before televisions, and even before radios. If you wanted to talk to someone far away, you had to write a letter and wait days or even weeks for an answer. One day while walking through your quiet home, you hear a voice, not from the next room, but from a strange device made of wires and wood. This voice is talking through a telephone, and that invention was created by a man named Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell was born on March 3, 1847, in Edinburgh, Scotland. He was surrounded by sound from the very start. His father, Alexander Melville Bell, was a speech teacher who developed ways to help people speak clearly. His grandfather and brother also worked with speech and sound. Young Alexander, often called Alec by his family, showed an early interest in how people talked and heard each other. Unfortunately, Bell's family also faced challenges. His mother, Eliza, started losing her hearing when Bell was just a boy. Instead of letting that discourage him, Bell became even more interested in helping people hear and communicate better. He would speak closely into his mother's ear and even tried speaking in low tones so she could feel the vibrations. His mother's hearing loss inspired him to learn more about sound which would later lead him to invent new ways for people to communicate. In 1870, when Bell was 23 years old, his family moved from Scotland to Canada and later to the United States. He settled in Boston, Massachusetts, where he became a teacher for the deaf. He worked at schools and taught students who couldn't hear how to speak. Bell was patient and creative, always trying new methods to help them learn. While working with deaf students, Bell kept thinking about sound waves and how people hear. He dreamed of creating a machine that could carry someone's voice through wires, a machine that could let people talk to each other even when they were far apart. Bell wasn't the only one with this idea. Other inventors were racing to build something similar, but Bell had a unique way of thinking and a deep knowledge of sound. In 1875, with the help of his assistant Thomas Watson, Bell began building devices that could turn sound into electricity and back into sound again. On March 10, 1876, something amazing happened. Bell and Watson were in different rooms working on their device. Bell spilled some acid on himself and shouted, Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. To their surprise, Watson heard Bell's voice through the wires. It was the very first successful telephone call. Bell quickly raced to get a patent, which is a legal document that says an invention belongs to the person who created it. Just a few days before others could claim they had made a similar invention, Bell received the official patent for the telephone on March 7, 1876. This moment changed the world forever. Not long after, Bell showed off the telephone at an exhibition in Philadelphia. At first, many people didn't understand why it was special. But once they heard a voice coming from far away, they were amazed. Even the Emperor of Brazil and famous scientist Thomas Edison were impressed. Soon, businesses wanted telephones in their offices, and people wanted them in their homes. Though he became known as the inventor of the telephone, Bell didn't stop there. His curious mind kept working on new projects. He experimented with machines that could fly, like early helicopters. He also created a special kind of boat called a hydrofoil, which could skim across water faster than regular boats. Bell even invented tools that could help doctors find metal objects inside people, an early version of the metal detector. Even as he worked on science and inventions, Bell never forgot the deaf community. He spent much of his life teaching and helping people who could not hear. He married one of his former students, Mabel Gardner Hubbard, who was deaf. They had four children together, and Bell continued to be devoted to both his family and his inventions. Bell also helped start organizations that supported learning and invention. He was one of the founders of the National Geographic Society and helped turn National Geographic magazine into an exciting way to explore the world through stories and photographs. Though Alexander Graham Bell passed away in 1922 at the age of 75, his legacy lives on. Telephones have changed a lot since Bell made the first call, but the idea is still the same, talking to someone even when they're miles away. And all of that started with one man's dream and a lot of hard work. 
One of Bell's most famous quotes is, when one door closes, another opens. He believed that every challenge was just a new chance to discover something amazing. His life is a great example of how being curious, kind, and determined can lead to inventions that help millions of people. So next time you pick up a phone to call a friend or family member, think about Alexander Graham Bell and his first telephone call. Remember that big dreams can come true with hard work and the courage to try something new.